The 5G build-out is going to be very infrastructure intensive, requiring massive deployment of small cells. Spectrum is invisible infrastructure. We may not be able to see it, but it is where we are going to build our economic future. America's local governments will play an important role in determining how we fulfill this national priority. The big game changer is that 5G will use much higher frequency bands than previously thought viable for mobile broadband and other applications. Such millimeter wave signals have physical properties that are both a limitation and a strength. But brilliant engineers have developed new antennas that can aim and amplify signals coupled with sophisticating pro sophisticated processing that allows a moving device to pick up all of the signals that are bouncing around and create one coherent connection. By the way, preparing for AVs is as much about uh, smart roadways as it is smart vehicles. In fact, in many ways, uh, it's really there that we want to begin so that we can establish kind of corridors where, at least on the commercial side, you can accelerate uh, adoption. Uh, when I hear the telecom industry talk about it, they're not really talking about 5G. 5G is not really about um, faster speeds. Um, it's really about building an industrial internet that provides for automation, self-driving cars, industry 4.0. I'm convinced that we are at the cusp of a transformational moment in transportation policy and investment. 5G will pave the way for automated vehicles, which have the potential to dramatically reduce traffic injuries and fatalities. So there's 37,000 people lost every year on America's highways. If we want to stay at the head of the race to 5G, the government needs to make sure that wireless companies have access to the necessary spectrum and the ability to efficiently deploy small cell infrastructure. That's the challenge that we face today. So, I mean, if you really want to make um, you, you know, your country competitive in the, for the future, you're going to have to look at this more as a national strategic investment and, and somehow stimulate that in, 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 with policy. 5G has the potential to pave the way for the widespread adoption of precision agriculture which uses tools like robotics and remote monitoring to help farmers manage their fields and boost their crop yields. The widespread deployment of 5G will require two things, adequate spectrum and adequate infrastructure. In many ways, all of the promises of IoT connected devices, Internet, on, Internet of Things devices, from driverless cars to all of the sensors that IoT connected devices are going to depend upon, that's all going to ride upon a 5G network. So it's critically important that the United States and on a broader level, the West get 5G right and lead the world in this development. I think we need to go ahead and provide ubiquitous high-speed broadband across the whole country, make the same commitment that Franklin Roosevelt made in the 1930s with rural electrification. We can do that now. I think there are things that we should be doing during the pandemic where we actually allow allow existing internet service providers to turn up the power so there's additional relief provided. 